Now you're actually out? Sounds good, Zoku. Thank you for stopping by. Take it easy. And thank you for the good luck. I am not expecting any... Oh my god, the hop in my thing. Um... Barely got it. Cool, let's go. We're in Gmanip time. Back to the actual running part of the game. And we can do it, we can do it. Oh, come on. I'll take it anyway. This run's garbage. So you can kind of see my frustrations with the run. In theory, if you got like every hit off, you can get like a 46. Or even lower if you really wanted to. Mary is just such a difficult boss fight, I really wish there were a better way of dealing with her. Maybe someday, right now... Yeah, you know, if we had a stronger gun, it would be doable, but we really don't have that strong of a gun in normal hard mode. Um, if we were doing New Game Plus, it would be easy peasy, because you get uh, green, green hyperspray. But... Yeah, we don't get that. Because this is hard mode. New Game. But at least we have it going. Also, like I mentioned, I'm quite excited for what's to come. Uh, on Wednesday, we'll be doing Parasite Eve, which I like Parasite Eve as a speedrun. I'll also make plenty of safety saves, because I want to make sure I actually beat the game. Normally, I don't safety save. But this time, you know I have to do it. Because I don't want to choke the run, like, two hours in and then just not have not be able to do it. Because I'm always sad if I can't complete Parasite Eve. It's such a great game. I call it Parasite Christmas Eve Day. Because I'm not actually playing on Parasite Christmas Eve, but I'm playing Parasite Eve. The problem is that my family celebrates Christmas on uh, Christmas Eve. Get punchy motivated to do anything other than any percent drought hard hard for me. And that's actually the whole idea of Twisted Delight. Punchy gets motivated if I beat his world record and find a consistent strat. I thought I did, which I, I would in theory if you wanted to just get shotgun shells off. If you wanted shotgun shells off, the strategy I had was amazing. If you want actual damage, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to eat some chokes. So if you don't, ch if you don't want to choke the run, you're gonna have to have Mary choke you, which is very unfortunate, in fact. But what could you do, huh? What can you do, indeed? But I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out. I think I'll have to keep working on it. And then I've been able to get the time on like practice. So I can get it. Oh, great question. So, the top timer is the real time, and the bottom timer is the in-game time. This game uses an in-game timer, so I like making sure we have both. I like knowing how much time I actually spend on the speedrun, and at the same time, the timer we use is the bottom one. Both timers don't matter in the grand scheme of things, since this game is measured off the final card at the end of the game. So, we'll see how that goes. How's it going, Dark Navi? Hope you're having a good day. Alright. Also, I do want to mention as well, if you end up getting a sub at all, feel free to join the Discord. Uh, you can help vote for the, the final game I learn of the year. Uh, we'll see which one it's going to be right now. The Darkness 2 is winning, to my knowledge. But I've not checked since the start of the stream. Thank you, Hyrule Warrior. Hyrule Warrior. My god, I've like, meshed all the words together. Hope you're having a good day. You're unfortunately tired? Sorry to hear about that. Hopefully you can get some nice rest, though. Hopefully you uh, have a good time. Get some sleep. Thank you, Nightmare, for the Discord link. As well, for any newcomers, you want to help me decide uh, another vote. I have a I have a community vote, which is just Discord community members get to vote on that. All I have to do is be in that Discord, and you're allowed to vote. That is the only rule. I do them once per week normally. Obviously, I won't be doing it at GDQ, because I'll be running at GDQ, which is going to be so exciting. I remember when someone asked me what would I do if they donated $5,000 during my run. I will do all Sagram if that happens, but they have to meet the certain requirement. Dab? I'll dab too. But yeah, Teddy, my requirement is if someone wants to donate $5,000 at once during my GDQ run, I'd be willing to take that as the Wallace and Gromit incentive. The only catch is they have to explicitly mention this is Sporic Dysis and Wallace and Gromit. You have to use both of those words. I'm not gonna, like, if it's just anything, I'm not gonna take it, because that would happen regardless. Because people want to get crafty, because uh, GDQ donates lots of money to do the event. It is gonna be great. I'm so excited. Like, Nightcry is going to be amazing. And I get to be an awful game runner. 
I hope I can make friends with the other awful game runners. I like I always meet some new friends whenever I go to GEQ events and all that. I get to meet new people, new runners, new like everything. I kinda get put names to faces. And I would like to make friends with the awful community. They are great people, despite the games not being so great. And I like Big Bad Gameathon. I'm already playing more runs of that. So you, uh, if you want that your donation should say, this is a special message for Rick Dices, he will explain, Wallace and Gromit, that is all. Yes. That would suffice, Teddy. It just needs the word Dices and Wallace and Gromit. When does GEQ start? I want to say it starts on January 5th, but I could be wrong. It's either January 5th or 4th. I think it's 5th. Yes. Um, my entire family has been joking that I need to take a helmet to GDQ. My friends have been joking that they're going to keep me away from metal rails at GDQ, and they're going to keep me safe. So, I have a lot of people looking out for me. These are unaware, by the way. I am the only person to almost die at a GDQ event. I got fucked up, dude. It was great. Not actually. I had to go to the hospital, but... Like, I got bodied at GDQ. GD speedrunning is serious shit, dude. I went to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, type in exclamation mark I, and I'll explain a bit more of it. But long story short, I swan dove into a metal rail. I have a scar on my eye that's more noticeable in person. Nowadays, it's not so noticeable, but I do still have that scar. I'm like, if you know what to look for, you'll, you'll see it. No, eye, like, is an eye. Like, my eyes. No, we're not eight. I'll typo. Thank you. Yep. I was pretty badly fucked up, too, in that, like, sense. Like, I was on the couch as well, just, like, stitches in my eye. Have they? But people actually die at GDQ? I don't know anyone who's ever had that kind of experience at GDQ if they actually died. If they did, that's hor- Oh, can I have the key? Thank you. It's horrifying in that sense. Either way, it's pretty- It's pretty zany, too, when you think about it. Like, I- I went there, and it was- Yeah. Injury is better. I don't want to go to fucking jail. Sorry, Punchy, I can't commentate on Silent Hill 3, I'm in jail. Is there one phone call to call Punchy? Sorry, bruh, well, I can't be on the couch tonight. I'm in jail. Possibly, Clubhouse, possibly. Either way, it's a fun memory in some ways. My favorite part, though, by the way, we're just coming back. What would have been my crime? Uh, probably just public drunk, drunk, pu public drunkenness. If I had to take a guess, uh, that is fuck. That is four. Oh, wait, no, that's four forty-nine, four fifty. I think I just had one phone call for like hours. By the way, that is some shitty RNG. Four forty-nine Forty-nine or four fifty, one of the two. Right? It'd be funny though. Is that one phone call to do GD commentary? Worth it. Four fifty or four forty-nine, one of the two. Let's see. Uh, what is that her score? <gasps> four forty-eight. That might be it actually. Uh, seven, eight, three, yeah, that's it. Okay, chat. Uh, we are looking at a, where is it? A 22. Oh god, that's a worst RNG. Fuck this game sometimes. We're looking at a 22, alright? Remember that, 22. Observing my RNG, this is some ass RNG. But yeah, it's kind of funny how I went, by the way. I went from... You think they You think they would remember that? I'm gonna make a joke on that, actually, where I'll mention, like, yeah, last GDQ I had a scar on my eye. It's a bad seed to the extent that the RNG I have is the, like, the longest. Why well, don't you jump for the Alliance before my run starts? Security, please escort this man out of the room. Ban him. <laughs> Break his legs. Take him out. I need to move this strength, by the way. 
I need my waters in a more optimal spot so I can stay hydrated, chat. A hydrated man is a good man. Remember that. And that involves me moving around cups. Stay hydrated. The bot's no longer here. Dude, I don't know how to feel about work today, though. Like, it's Christmas time, and is it okay to feel like a chump? Crazy gaming days. How's it going, my dude? Thank you for the dank host and the raid. He got the double. Wait, the host and the raid. He got both. Both of them. He gets two alerts. Two alerts. Avium, thank you. For RE7, fuck yeah, I love RE7. What are you doing today? Crazy Gaming Days, if you don't know this man, he's been kicking ass lately and I'm proud of him. So definitely check him out. How's it going? Is that Zoomberman? Thanks for the host, not so good, Fox. Knife only is not, ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I like, R I like RE7. That knife only would be cool. Well, welcome everyone, welcome raiders. If you're wondering who I am, what do I do? My name is Igdysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game speedruns. As I speak right now, I currently have 61 unique horror game and horror adjacent game on my speedrun belt. If you don't know Crazy Gaming Days, you should. The dude's an absolute madman and does some insane knife only speedruns, and they're pretty damn good to watch. He's also been kicking ass lately and is on the path of partnership. So I'm hoping it goes well. Welcome everyone, welcome raiders. If you have any questions, let me know. We're doing Silent Hill 2 World Records today. How's it going, Wolfback? You're an annoying little wolf? I don't think you're annoying. Unless you mean in an endearing way. You seem rather polite. That's always good people. Horror games and horror game accessories, that's the better one. I was just talking about how at GDQ I want to mention that last time I was on a GDQ couch I got my eye fucked up, uh, but this time I'll be doing a run actually. I'll be running the game Nightcry at GDQ, which is an absolutely wonderful horror game and probably one of the best games ever made in this or any universe. Hi Zoomberman. Hope I was saying your name right by the way. Hope you're doing well. And crazy gaming days. You've been popping off lately my dude. I'm very happy to say. It's good, st good stuff. go need health yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna fuck up my eye this time if you guys are wondering uh, we're just talking about the story of how i'm one of the only people who's ever been injured at a gdq event like i got bodily injuries and had to be hospitalized at gdq gdq staff actually laughed at me uh, afterwards and it was pretty funny I ended up talking to them later for some hot pick stuff. I was like, that was you? I was like, yeah, that's me. I'm the, I'm the guy who got messed up at GEQ. And to that, if you're wondering how did I get how did I get injured at GEQ, I have one word to answer that question. Tequila. I remember the more uh, the day I came back home after the trip. Uh, I got back uh, into the house. I, uh, want to say hi to my mom, because she's probably worried about me. And then, she looks at me one moment with my, like, with my eye, with the little, like, gauze they had. She looks at me for one moment, and just says the word, questioningly, tequila? And I just go, yeah. And then she just tells me she's happy I'm safe. That would be funny, Twisted the Light. That would be funny. But no, wine's good for me. Tequila's the thing that had me bodied. I'm not gonna have any tequila this year. I'll be good. And then I'll say I lie every time. Realistically, I seem more responsible with my drinking. Which I think is an easy thing to do. I already know my limit. It's a bottle of wine. That, that'll get me good for the night. And then when I'm feeling better, drink another bottle of wine. Sounds good, Avium. Sounds like a plan. Anyway, one. I count the reloads, but after four or five more shots, we're good. So I just count the reloads, and then we're good to go. This boss fight's really fun, because you just need to keep shooting him with bullets. Once you hit him enough times, you're good to go. This is number three. Three. Four. And then five. One. Nice try. I'm half Mexican, I love tequila. It's in my veins, man. You know what I did for Thanksgiving, chats? Tequila. 
You know what I do at family holidays? You know what I'm doing for Christmas? Tequila. It's in my nature. My family loves tequila. And I love my family. Although, I, I felt bad today, because today I did some shopping for family as well. And to go with some gifts, and also because my dad is more of a practical man, um, I decided to get some alcohol. That being said, I also decided to stock up on alcohol, because I have some uh, interesting things coming for the end of the year. I have a few celebrations I want to do. But, um, I ended up going out of the grocery store, like, I remember walking in, I was just, like, walking in, tired from work, like, I looked mopey and stuff, I, like, I pretty much looked like a Christmas curmudgeon or something like that, and I just go in there, she's like, you wanna buy some candy? I'm like, no. I, I don't even respond, I just walk past her, just, like, dead-faced. Like, my resting bitch face. She sees me later, with a shopping cart, full of bottles of wine. I just wine. Got, like, six bottles of wine. Just walking out of there. I... Yeah, I guess that's really all the point I got. I don't have much more point than that. But I need wine for a couple reasons. Because one, what's Christmas without getting drunk? Two, I don't know if you guys heard this, but I think this is a good time as any to announce it. If you were in the Discord or follow my Twitter, you may know this, or if you paid attention to that, but if you're new here, you probably don't. But, many moons ago, I ran a game called Alice Madness Returns. It was one of the hardest games I've ever sped ran in my life. Speedrun, speedrun, speedrunning, whatever you've had in the past tenses. It was one of the hardest games I've ever did. And I always told myself, I need to go back to that game eventually. I was fucked up playing dirty, playing dirty. Oh my god! Avium! This is gonna be the PB. Avium with the 3,000 biddies. Thank you very much, Avium. This will PB now, we're calling it. And if you got any of the 25 emotes shared, make sure you thank Avium. Can't thank you enough, Avium. Thank you. Did you find the lake you're looking for? If you go to GDQ, Which we'll definitely there? drink some tequila. It's good stuff. Also, given that you want to submit for the GDQ and, uh, announcing thing, it should go well. Let's keep going. But anyway, what was the point I was making? I lost my train of thought. Because I'm, I'm dummy. Ah, yes, I remember now. Alice Madness Returns. I decided to end the year strong. I will be doing the game Alice Madness Returns for 12 hours. I'll be 12 hours of Alice. I have not done the game since that fateful night. I remember it like it was yesterday. You know what I remember most about it? I complained about the glitches that were really hard, and I was drunk on wine in my frog suit, and just living the life. So chat, I'll be really leaving every moment about that. I'll be busting out my frog Kigurimi. Kigurimi? 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 Japanese pajamas, my Japanese frog pajamas. I'll be busting out the bottles of wine, and we're gonna get drunk on Alice in life. I'll be doing Alice Asmanis Returns, one of the hardest speedruns I've ever done in my life, and I'll be getting a PB. Oh, tequila? I love tequila. It runs in my blood. It's a family thing. But yeah, I ended up having to get stitches. Correct, Phantasm. I got stitches in my eye. I got like 10 of them, I think. Chet, I, the, the nurse who took them out ended up counting them for me because I didn't know how many were in my eye. But it was like 10. And I think, I remember the same day I asked, am I good to drink? And she was like, just, just don't do that. And I was like, sounds good. Yeah, I got them into GDQ. I rested. He's a really nice nurse. But the thing is, when I went to GDQ for that, also around 22, I... It happened at like 4 a.m. where I went to the hospital. Uh, my Canadian friend and my Australian friend took me to the hospital. Both of them do not know anything about the American healthcare system. I remember as well, I was, uh... <laughs> I ended up messaging Punchy the morning I got back, like, Hey, man, uh, I should be able to make... I don't know what you heard so far, but I should be able to make the run. And he just messaged me saying, What are you talking about? 
And then he sees the selfie of me doing the thumbs up, my cheeky bastard self. And I was like, what the fuck happened to you? I was like, it's a long story. If you look up the runs of Dead Rising or Silent Hill 3, you can actually see me injured. If you look up Zombies at My Neighbors, you can see the before. If you look up Silent Hill 3, me on the couch, you can see the after. My emo haircut actually helped me a lot because it covered the, the scar pretty much. It was a nasty wound, by the way. Also, we're on 22. 78, 33, and 78, 17. Okay. 78, 33, and 78, 17. I got this. Good dodge. Good. Ha, she tried. 78, 33, 78, 17. Saying the numbers works pretty well for me if I get it. Yeah, I'm cool with people like uh, riffing on it. All right, hold on. Uh, 78, 33, then 78, 30, no, oh no, 78, uh, 17. There we go. Well, Hasova, by the way, was about $100. Because my job has insurance. And I'm very lucky I got injured while I have a job with insurance. That definitely helped out. I think before insurance, it said like, I think about a thousand. If you're wondering why it was only a thousand. So, if you don't know me, um, for a lot of you guys who are new here, you might not be aware of this. And a lot of people new in the community don't, also don't know. I didn't exactly grow up, um, as an affluent kid, so to speak. Um, so I've always been in the idea that um, I save my money, I take precautions. That being said, I remember that day when I was um, in pain. The entire time, the entire time I was dying in pain. I remember very clearly what I asked about and what I said and what I told everyone around me to do. I said, you are not putting me in an ambulance. And I absolutely rejected going into an ambulance. I told everyone, I'm not going in any ambulances. And I saved a thousand dollars that way. Because uh, someone called me an Uber. And I'm very grateful for that person calling me an Uber. She be dead. Ambul ambulances are expensive. You live in America. If you don't live in America, they're not that expensive. Uh, anyway. Hold on. One. Two. Ambulance visit would have been about $1,000. My out of pocket was like $100. Also, bad fight. I paid $100, not 1K. I paid $100, like 100. Because I have decent insurance, apparently. 1K before insurance? Yeah, it sounds like it was just about the hospital visit. Like, I think it was 1K. I had the bill runner somewhere. I mean, even, I don't remember the exact Let me see if I can double check it at some point. Because I'm not the best with hospital stuff. Muse! The tier 1 sub. For three months. Man who smothers his wife with love looks for her among a sick town so that he can show her his bedside manners. Correct, Amuse. How's it going today? Hope you're having a good one. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. Jesus. Oh no, I paid it. All my prices were, I think, were like weirdly LA based. I think the only thing they made me... I paid for one thing. I can't remember. No, I think... I don't know. I think it was Minnesota. Yeah, it was. It was. I don't remember entirely, but I have to double check. It was either 1,000 or 10,000. I don't remember which one, but it was all for the... It was something they used. Yeah. By the way, I only paid $100 total. And then they... Actually, I think removing the stitches was also free for me. Go. Oh, come on, get up. 
Jesus. That doesn't sound very pleasant, Teddy. It sounds dangerous, in fact. Dangerous. I hear that. I definitely hear that with answer. It is fucked. So I'm happy I'm alive. If someone tells me what's the greatest thing to happen to me in the year 2019, being alive, dude. What the fuck? I'm alive. I could have died on a fucking floor. You know what I am? Live. That's the greatest thing that happened to me this year. I mean, don't get me wrong, Twitch partner and everything else has been fucking great. But my ass is alive. Like, I don't take that for granted. I, I remember that shit. Like, my head was profusely bleeding. Although, I blame more of the hotel. Oh my god. I don't... I actually, like... Mentioning that, I remember the pain. I remember what it feels like. I can feel the tinge if I think about it. It's weird. Come on. Got it. First try, baby. Charge you to remove when they put them in. I don't... Actually, I didn't get charged for removal, but some people do. I guess my insurance had free removal or something. I don't remember the exact details. Oh, God damn it! Well, only one's not too bad. And then... That was good. But yes, that is the best thing to happen to me in the year 2019. Is that where it sucks huge ass? In which way? Yeah, it's weird though, man. You never really think about it. Like, I haven't been in that many areas. Also, the thing to take me out was a fucking chair. It wasn't even, like, anything dangerous. I've been to some dangerous shit. I didn't get injured. A chair injured me. A chair and a metal rail. So think about it, chat. Think about the danger in your life. Your best friend can betray you. This chair. This chair can betray you. Let's get a rhetorical answer. Why well, I mean, the charges dropped anyway? Until the adrenaline wears off, then it's a big time sink. Honestly, it didn't hurt that bad. It felt kind of cool, in fact. The only thing I had to ask was, uh. What's the word? The only thing is, I had to tell people just don't touch my eye, and I was good. And most people were like, dude, what the fuck happened to your eye? I was like, ah, it's all good, dude. I was like, alright. And then no one let me drink for the rest of the event. I get to drink a GDQ again. Wait a minute. Fuck yeah. I just realized that. My drinking ban of GDQs is done, so I could drink again. I was banned from drinking by all my friends the entire event. I can drink again. Just not as recklessly. Slides are working. That's the yard. Ooh. You have to stay still. Just keep me away from shitty chairs to keep me away from metal rails. I'll be good. I'll sit down on the floor before my drinking. That's the perfect plan. I just won't sit down in a bad chair. I'll sit down on the floor. Hotel chairs, be gone. Floors, be in. Also, if you're wondering why was I that drunk, I was, I was at a pretty good level, but then... Like, I went outside instead of going to play Initial D because I wanted to talk with a friend, and then I just... The chair was not a good fit for me. Also, I drank literally everything. I lost count. Fun time, though. Fun time. Either way, the, the moral lesson of this... Uh, don't sit in bad chairs, I suppose. I guess that's the lesson I'm going in here. Also, if you're wondering, I don't drink before my runs. If I ever run into a GDQ event, I drink after. I don't drink before. If I'm on a couch, yeah, I'll drink before. Depending. Like, not massively, mind you, but like... Not the entire... It's not the worst thing in the world. But I will not uh, ever drink before my own run. It's Mojo from back in the day. Hey, we got it. Hell yeah. That was quick. So there's a head. went back because there was glass. Oh my god. I wanted it out. Give Jesus. That does not sound nice, Turtle Glance. That sounds painful. Glass in your aid. That is not a pretty sight. Not a pretty picture. 
That is an eesh. Also, I gotta get world record. The will demands it. And the will of the land demands good mare. What's the world record time? 49.27, I think, Marty? I'd have to double check. By the way, if I'm in 48 territory, or good. If it passes 40, if it gets to 49.30, I've already lost. I think it's like 49.20. It's either 49.23 or 49.27. Yeah. Before you paid then. Well, that works out then. Go. That being said, yes, the American healthcare system is, uh... I guess the best advice is don't get injured. Which isn't good advice, but I mean... That's about as good as it goes. Did I save the game? Plenty of times, Catboy. I even have the sign behind me that says Game Saved. I just want to say, though, I'm going to be careful of my friends, too. I want to make sure anyone I'm with isn't going to bash their head open this time. Because apparently it happened to Bach as well shortly at the next event. Like, at GDUX, I think Bach ended up having to go to the hospital for similar things. Or he just got injured. Don't you have no idea? Definitely. That entire thing was the perfect gamut, Catboy. I challenged Punchy to a bet, and then GDQ made us a sign. It was perfect. And it all worked out because game saved. Got checked? I do check. All the time. I always check. There we go. Yeah, I got the good running. I never get the good running. This might actually gold for once. I don't know if it... Actually, it should gold again and again because I never actually completed a run, I think about it. It's like reminding a digital artist to save. Just keep game saving. Funny enough, though, I actually have a really decent shot at making a game into GDQX. Like, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be very bold, and I might piss a few people off because of it. But I think I have a really decent shot into getting into GDQX. Because I'm going to submit Silent Hill 1 or 2. Not sure which one yet, but 1 or 2. Either one. And I think it has a decent shot, in all honesty. That, no, not sexy fan dance. So the thing is... Normally, a Silent Hill game, in most cases, will either be at least on backup for GEQ, and they like having it every now and again, especially the longer they don't make it in the marathon. They really love Silent Hill 1 and 2, and I'm willing to take a strong guess that Silent Hill 2 might see a GEQX run or an SGEQ run. Like, I have a good feeling that this game might make it into some marathon, not sure what yet, but either Silent Hill 1 or Silent Hill 2 will likely go into SGDQ if Silent Hill 4 doesn't. If Silent Hill 4 makes it into SGDQ, I automatically win, and that's fucking perfect. Because the way GDQ submissions work, I'm going to mention this again because I love mentioning this. The best runner of a game who submits will be the one to run that game at a GDQ marathon. So, if you're the best in your category, and you submit said category, and you have the lowest estimate, you get it, and you're good to go. In most cases, that would go to Punchy, because Punchy is an absolute fucking monster at Silent Hill, barring, um, I think this is like one of the only categories that has relatively decent competition close to him, just because this category is literal masochism, and I am something of a masochist myself. But, going back into it, if Punchy submits to SGDQ or AGDQ, he likely makes in Silent Hill 1, 2, or 3. Or even Origins, but no one cares about Origins. Hey Camden, how's it going? Great timing, by the way. <laughs> Great timing, Camden. Hope you're having a good day. 1... But going back to the topic at hand, with the Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 1, Punchy in most cases is the power submitter for those games, because he has the best time and he submits them to AGDQ and SGDQ. He does not, however, submit these games to an event called GDQX, because it's a smaller GDQ and it's on the West Coast. Or should I say, the best coast. Now, why is that important? It's because, since he doesn't submit to that, the power submitter changes this time. Instead of punching the power submitter because he's not submitting, it would go to the next best runners. 
Soundhole 3 gets blocked with soup. He doesn't like GDQX because it's far and it's a smaller event. And he submits to it, then he gets power submissions. However, I live in the state that GDQX happens. And I have the power submission, in most cases, for Soundhole 1 and for Soundhole 2. Thanks to proximity, and I'm actually just really good at Soundhole 2 for some reason. Believe it or not, I'm top 3 or top 2, depending on the category. Uh, well, top 4, I think, for any percent, but any percent, ah. Also, I don't think that would be the category that gets ran. There you go. That being said, if Soundhole 1 or Soundhole 2 makes it into SGDQ, the other game has a likely chance of making it into a uh, GDQX. So, what ends up happening is, depending on what game gets accepted, I just submit the other one to GDQX. Now, if Soundhole 4 gets accepted, then I get two game submissions, and it works even better in my favor. And it's all a part of the sneaky long con. Now, you must remember the wise old proverb, if you ever get into any kind of competition or fights, if you can't outstrength your opponent, outsmart them. If you can't outsmart your opponent, outstrength them. Or overpower them. Yeah, stay in your toes. Now, it's mostly in good jest for speedrunning. And also, at AGDQ, SGDQ, I'm not stupid, so I'm not going to submit Silent Hill games, because I'm not going to be the power submitter. If I was, I would submit Silent Hill 2, but I don't really think... I wouldn't do 1, I wouldn't be the power submitter for that. If I was power submitter, I'd submit Silent Hill 2. I have no good quarrels with that. And all it's fair in that kind of thing. But that being said, currently I'm not the power submitter. Also, I would not be the power submitter in 3, because I don't like 3 that much. I wouldn't be the power submitter in uh, Origins, because I don't like Origins. Also, a bunch of could have that one. It hasn't been ran yet. Even if I did want to do it, I would not do it. How's it going, Hags? Oh, we have a good damn. Need. That's bad. So that is my logic. And it's not so, like, the opponent's the wrong word to use there. It's more like, you remember how back in, like, the, back in the 90s, you have all those TV shows where you have, like, the running people, and then they'd run after the train. as like, the homeless people trying to catch up with the train so they could ride along with it. It's more akin to that. I want to ride along the speeding train of Silent Hill speedrunning and take my position as the North American Silent Hill 1 and 2 person. Because it works, and no one currently, like... I think the only other person who would work is, I think, Plywood, but he doesn't submit Sound Hole for some reason. If he did, he'd probably make it in, but he doesn't do it. There we go. So, that's my train of thought there. So, I hope that makes sense. She celebrates Hanukkah? Isn't that why... I... Oh, gotcha, Camden. Oh. I was about to say, isn't that why they use Happy Holidays? Like, Happy Holidays isn't a hard thing to say. I never understood the whole idea of not saying Happy Holidays. It's really easy to say the words Happy Holidays. Because there's Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and Christmas all in one week. That sounds awkward. And even then, if you just know they're devout in one area, you can just tell them that. It's very situational. I never understood the whole thing. Exactly. I feel like it's one of those things that doesn't matter all that much. There we go. Alright. That being said, I don't really care about Santa. I, I don't know what's going on with that. I keep hearing things, but I'm just gonna ignore all that. You're a Christian? Oh, you mean the, the co-worker. Hey! How's it going, Akubo? Yeah, Happy Holidays is nice. It's fun to say, actually. I like it. I don't know. I are good Jewish people. It's easy to say Happy Holidays to them. It's very inclusive. It's very nice. And most people seem to be rather happy that they're, you know, getting happy holidays in there. So it works. That being said, if someone tells me either one, I'm not gonna bitch. And I, if I know someone's really into Christmas, I'll just tell them Happy Christmas. Or Merry Christmas. Season's Greetings? I've never been a fan of that one. Oh, hold on. Uh, ooh. Oh, wow. All right, cool. Um... Oh no. Um. Fuck. Um. Oh, there we go. I'm stupid. Cool, we got it. So, as I'm passing, giving them food? I suppose. In 
tr drunk with chosen family. Very nice. See, Marty gets it. Just dance, enjoy the holidays. It's good shit. Like, don't be wrong. I've been wearing the Santa hat the entire time. You know I celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Hanukkah. My boss does. I know people do. I think my cousins do. But, like, I'm not gonna dog any for the holiday of choice. Just celebrate that shit, dude. It's good shit. It's the time to be happy. It's not the time to have a stick up your ass. Unless you're the screwed from a Christmas carol. In that case, go for it. Um, there's blind arsonist, but I can already tell you it's four. Like, all the RNG is already, like, I already have it all down. Although, I mentioned this before as well, with the blind arsonist, I mean, the RNG manip's not really a bad thing. Everyone was complaining that RNG, like, RNG manip's gonna kill the game. I mean, it killed it because everyone just let it die. It, didn't, it wasn't killed, it was, like, it withered away. It was like a pet fish that suddenly grew muscular arms. Like, dude, this fucking fish is awesome! It's me right now. But then everyone else is like, dude, that fish is weird now, you don't want that fish. I'm like, no, dude, that fish is cool! Then everyone's like, no. I missed the fish that didn't have muscular arms. So that is the good metaphor of Silent Hill 2 and why people drop the game. But, like... The RNG minute fixes a lot of the problems I have with this game. Hell, I love RNG, and I was the big, like, promoter of RNG as well. Most people just did Blind Arsonist and enjoyed that. My ass did Blind Briefcase. I bet you do, Teddy. I bet you do. Like, I like RNG. The Punch Man. Hold on. I'm going to Punch Man and Punch Man Games. Well, funny enough, like, I dropped the game for a while, came back to it, and then the whole debate of manipulation came in. And then I was like, so what's the hearing on this? And then I was like, well, we're gonna allow it, because it makes it more interesting. I was like, cool, I'm down for it. And then, um, I don't remember, I think last week or something, I did normal normal. And the normal normal went really well, so I was like, you know what? Oh, really? Yeah. I decided to go for hard mode, and then once I do hard mode, I want to get any percent, too. So I expect this game a lot more. I, I like this game. It's a fun game. And it's not bad. I have a decent time. I want to get into it. Also, any percent, I need to get top three. I'm currently not top three. I need that shit, baby. Any percent is the only category I'm ranked four in, and that fucking sucks. It's running floor, so it's like... Ah, I got you. Yeah, I've never had that issue with the Happy Holidays thing. But, eh, it's weird. Also, funny enough, I looked into the Soma speedrun. Holy shit, I'm doing glitchless. Skyborg with the raid. How was the stream and what were you up to today? I think it was Spyro? I don't remember entirely, but it went well. It was Spyro. Hopefully you had a good stream. Welcome everyone from Skyborg. Stream. I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game speedruns. So that's your jam. You're in the right spot. How's it going, Uniku? If you guys don't know Skyboard, you should. She does uh, RE2 make and was doing Spyro today. She has a lot of cool games. Oh, fuck. Eight ahead. You know, that's a weird trade. I'll take it. All right, good damage. Oh yeah, all right, round two. Nice, zero blade edge. Good, much better. This is where we're at. Drunk score bunny, nice. I'm doing some sound too and hoping to God Eddie doesn't kill me here. Come on, good. Beat your meat, Eddie. Keep beating your meat. This is good. Dead. Fuck yeah. That was an amazing fight. I'll take it. And now into the next area. This can be a good run, chat. This can be a really good run right now. No, you're doing so much glitchless. Hell yeah, Zero Blade. I mean, how that is. Uh, that's the run I might be looking. That's one run that I'm looking to. Yeah, 3-make is really fucking cool. RE 3-make, or even 3-make, it's good. RE 2-make, the naming doesn't work that well. Also, I'm going to be doing a lot of RE 3-make, or RE 3-make. I like RE 3. Sue me. I love RE 3. It's such a cool fucking game. 
RE2 make, I, I enjoyed, but I don't think it was as good as RE1 make. RE3 make, I just like RE3. I'm guilty. I have a bit of bias in that horse. But, I'm excited for everything. Skyborg, though, how was the stream? I hope you had a good one. Hopefully, it was a good time. And hopefully, you're all having a great day. There we go. But yeah, GDQ uh, Marathon Submissions is absolutely something that has a lot of thought you gotta put in. And that thought can make the difference of you getting a run and you not getting a run. Also, the game you think might work, might not, like, may not work, and the game you think won't work, may work. Like, I was fully expecting to get in on Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation makes sense to get in, right? Like, Alien Isolation is probably one of the biggest horror games to exist. It is one of the most prominent, one of the best games to come out of that year. Like, it's an insane game, right? You think Alien Isolation would have kicked ass and would have been a GDQ, right? You think they would have wanted that at their events. Also, 30 minute speed run. Pretty neat, has interesting glitches. Uh, they didn't take Alien Isolation. You know what they did take from me? I'll give you a hint, it's in my, uh... You hit AGQ or you ever heard me talk for five minutes, you probably know what it is at this point. They took Nightcry. Why they took Nightcry, I don't know. They also took Bioshock on backup, which also kind of confirms my theory of, uh... Oh, fuck. That was, uh, that would be better. Second try. I can't believe they've done this. Ah, that's, uh... Hold on. Oh, shit. Why am I messing up the out of bounds? Come on. Third try. There we go. Third time's the charm, as they say. And we're good. Yeah, it's pretty cash money if you ask me. Also, I think next year is going to be quite scary for me. I'm still kind of worried about a lot, but uh, I think we'll have a decent shot on some things. We'll see how it all goes. But overall, 2020, I'm going to hit the ground running, chat. It's going to be a fucking bold year. It's going to be a crazy year. Might even be fun. There's gonna be a lot that goes into it. Also, RPG Limbrick submissions open up, so I might need to get games ready for that. Some course party. I already have my VODs. Actually, I prepared my RPG Limbrick VODs earlier than I normally do. Cool. Quick question, chat. Is Bioshock an RPG? I think it is. They told me it was not cozy enough for the event, or it's too different. Ah, uh, close one. You say no, but we still say yes. I think RG only had the other idea. I would say yes, because you get upgrades. Now, the 300 IQ question. Do you think Dead Rising is an RPG? The answer will shock you. What the hell is my thing? There it is. Bioshock is an action RPG? It still counts. Oh, uh -huh. that was a bad mood. Fine. I guess that's good to know the rhetorical answer. That all works out for me. Um, uh, there's no leveling in menu system. I made arguments for Dead Rising, but they don't agree with me entirely. They said it's interesting. I'm gonna keep submitting it to that marathon. I think it's funny. Also, it is an earnest. I make earnest arguments for it at the very least. It really does. And I mean, you don't have assigned leveling, but you do level up and get upgrades, which is in the traditional RPG system. It is, it's not assigned and it's mostly random, but you do get upgrades and you do level up and there is experience. Or should I say PP? And the goal of that game is to get big PP. Also, oh shit, the word is, uh, time. Uh. Nice. See, that works out, then. Thank God I double-checked the word, by the way, chat. Okay. How's it going, Hermicide? By the way, I forgot to say hi. How are you doing today? Now, the real question, or the real thing, chat. We're at this point in the game again. Oh shit, wrong one. Uh, yeah, give me that. Um, 
Wrong music box, that's fine. And this one. The real thing, chats. I am about to hit the final boss of this game. We are approaching it, we're getting ready. It is time to return some tapes. I need to return some tapes. Can Mary please cooperate with me today? I just want a single run to work. Just one single run. Just give me that good shit game. Just one run is all I need. It is now time to bless this mess, chat. It is now time to bless this mess. If we get this, this can be a world record. I have a decent time right now. I have to make sure I don't choke anything. The pyramid head fight's been going well for me, so that's a good thing. Oh god, I thought I had it. Thank you, Acid. Thank you, Twisted Light. Okay. Careful up. It's a pull, not push? Damn. I'm doomed. Go. All right, party time. We need plenty of blessings here. This can go many ways. I will have a few minutes to take down Mary. Cocaine Mary is gonna take me out, chat. Cocaine Mary is gonna take me out. Thank you, Raven. Fuck, poke, poke my feet, don't do it again. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's go. Good fight. GG on Pyramid Heads. Fucking easy peasy. Look at this shit. Doing it one handed. Some cocky. Actually, you just need spacebar. And F. Good. Okay. Oh, I need to use keyboard for this. What am I doing? Right? Push F to kill pyramid heads. It's perfect. Alright, chat. Moment of truth. I have about three minutes or so to kill Mary. Actually, four. We have four minutes to kill Cocaine Mary. I hope so. How's it going to record? Mary? I hope so, praying dirty. Want, James? Three I, uh, minutes of playtime. Flowers. That's all we need. She's got me for three oh, minutes. Three Mary, minutes of playtime. Please tell me you guys know what movie that's from. Flowers. I imagine you do. I know Teddy does. I hope you all do. It's an absolute modern day classic. Hey, Ryan Newcomer, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Gotta go up. You forgot, but you knew? The answer is Spider-Man 1 by Sam Raimi. Three minutes of playtime. Get up there, James. Spider-Man, correct. Alright, can I at least get a good, uh, good RNG? Bad RNG. Bad RNG, boo! It's bone saw, baby! All right, now Mary's got me for three minutes of playtime. Let's do this. She actually does have three minutes of playtime, so be careful. Um, that's good. That's not good. Me too, Teddy. Me too. Good hit. It's fine. Thank you. 
Missed. That's fine. That's really good. Hey, Simon. How's it going? Heal and retreat. Missed. That's fine. I... I fucked up. Okay, come on. Got her. Missed. That's fine. Good hit. Missed. Almost. Almost. Good hit. Awkward, but fine. Give it a reset. Shit. He's running, that's okay. God, I fucked that one up. Fucking e-reload. It's okay. That's okay, actually. This is really good. Position reset. One more. One more. No! Gun might work, gun might work, gun might work. <gasps> you did it, baby! This Avium, you're right! You were right! We did it, there we go, holy shit, hard mode world record, that's some shit right there. The 3000 bit prediction, that's that good shit right there, chat. Hard, hard, I don't have to do this shit anymore, fucking awesome. Also, I finally have a sound hole world record again. It's been a hot minute. I had 10 star, but then it got beat. 48, 47, this is so easily beatable too. Nightmare, thank you for the 300 bitties. You were here, K4U. For you. you were here. And thank you all for being here. We're doing any percent after this, but you know I gotta post about this on Twitter. Uh, what is it again? I don't remember. I'm just gonna get my snipping tool out. Snipping tool. You, you know I gotta post about this on Twitter. Check this out. I gotta get my Santa hat down. You know I got a point. First try? Yeah, absolutely.